Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm working on block number five for my summertime sampler. It's called Old Maid's Puzzle. It's right here. That's a simple block that we're gonna make today. Let's get started. My blocks today, I need three four inch squares of the background, three four inch squares, and in this case it's orange, and I need three squares that are three and a half inches. And I'll be making two blocks for my quilt, but this is what I'll need for one block. So I took one of my orange squares, this is sort of a dark orange, and one of the background fabrics, and I drew a line corner to corner, and I'm going to be making my half square triangles. I'll need six half square triangles for my quilt block. After drawing pencil line on all three of my sets here, I put a seam on either side of the pencil line and then I took my scissor and cut right along the pencil line so I ended up with six half square triangles. After pressing, I trimmed to three and a half inches. I used a ruler with a diagonal line and I put that diagonal line right on my seam and I made sure that three and a half inches was in the center of my little block here. If you have trouble getting to three and a half inches, if it, your block is too small, then you'll want to cut your squares a little bit bigger than four inches. Mine seemed to come out pretty close to three and a half inches or a half inch uh, smaller than I cut. So you can do any size half square triangle. You just cut a half inch bigger for the square that you begin with. Then we sew them together the way we just did. And then I trim to the size that I need. Thank you. 
Now it's time to put it all together. I put three half square triangles on each side of my block and I made sure they were pointed at each other and that's what makes this classic block called Old Maid's Puzzle. This is our fifth block in this little sampler. We have five more to go and I'm making two of each. So thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time.